Hello, my name is Rybash. And I'm Breezy. And welcome to what I think is the final episode of Braid. We're in world one, so the last level is really the first. That's interesting. Oh, I kept wondering why it started at two, if there was something mm -hmm. that I was forgetting. Well, this is kind of funny because the game has been, a lot of it's been played in reverse and dealt with time travel, so. Oh, so kind of fitting that the last one would be. The first the one. The first one. So we've gone back to the beginning, kind of? Yeah, he wants to find the princess to know her at last. For Tim, this would be momentous, sparking an intense light that embraces the world. A light that reveals the secrets long kept from us that illuminates or materializes a final palace where we can exist in peace. Hmm. But how would this be perceived by the other residents of the city in a world that flows contrawise? The light would be intense and warm at the beginning, but then flicker down to nothing. Taking the castle with it, it would be like burning down the place we've always called home, where we played so innocently as just as children, destroying all hope of safety forever. Oh. Looks like we have to do the last door first. What's that? It's a flower on it. Oh. I just a lot of that doesn't. I'm not sure what he's talking about. Nope. Oh, oh it's in reverse. Oh. Oh. Keep missing it. I think you just have to stand on that one spot and it'll bounce once you're standing on it. Oh, now that or, that guy's there. Oh, that guy. Oh, the flower's closing up. Oh. oh. Ah. Huh. This whole level's like in reverse. And then, oh, he's got to jump back in. up in this cannon. Oh, I missed. There oh, we go. Nice. There's the flower shrinking more. This is like a mind bender. Oh, I guess it's like these. Yeah, there, I gave myself a couple. I guess this guy's going to... Almost got it. So you can still. I wonder if I can. Well, at least I got another guy to work with. Yeah. I'll tell you what, the coordination there is we go. very complicated. Braid. I think this is the end, guys. Lock door. With a door behind it. Hey, who is that? I've got you. Ooh. It's the princess. Wait, is he a bad guy? What's going on? Oh, there's fire. Oh, she's got to open the way for us here. Uh oh. Kind of those ones where you gotta do it right the first time. Uh, uh. Woo. I'm confused. She's gotta press that lever. Oh. That is close. I know. Okay, we're getting some. Have to wait to the last second. I hear stuff. Oh. oh, you have to turn the lever for her, and then she turns the lever, or not. Lost some time right there. Uh oh, I bet you can still do it though. Oh! Oh, you had to jump on that guy. Yeah. Oh. Sometimes I overdo it. <laughs> <laughs> I think you have to bounce on the same guy that you ride up. Or maybe this guy? Oh, there you go. No. 
know. How it's do like, you get past them? Do this faster. Climb. Yeah, give yourself some more buffer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. There we go. Press it, girl. <laughs> go up the stairs. Run, run, run. Run, run, run. Here we go. Woo. Get down in that pipe. Come on. Why isn't it going down? Get down in the pipe. Oh, there's a chandelier. Oh, there's the time reversal thing. Do we go forward now? What? Maybe I was supposed to... Reverse time? Oh, I jump up. Oh, I gotta hold down the, the button. Oh, we're playing in reverse. I don't have to do anything, do I? Doesn't seem like it. We're just watching it. Wait a minute. So why are we playing in reverse now? Did she try to drop the chandelier on us? She made it so we... She made it so we couldn't get up there. I'm just, I'm just literally holding it down. Yeah. So it's playing out. Wait a minute. The original time was backwards. This is how it really went. So, so is so she she's, running from us? She's like running away from us. Right? Like she flips that to try to kill you, but you evade it. Oh. She tries to seal you in, but you jump over. This is so confusing. She try. She blocks you there from climbing up to her. Oh. She's asking for help. Come down here. And he says. I've got you. So he wasn't trying to, she wasn't trying to escape from him. He was rescuing her. So we go through that door? What was that light? Epilogue. It's unaffected by time. It's unaffected by time. Took her hand, he would protect her. He, they would make their way through this oppressive castle, fighting off the creatures that made of smoke and doubt, escaping to a life of freedom. The boy wanted to protect the girl. He held her hand or put his arm around her shoulders in a walking in, in a walking embrace to help her feel supported and close to him amid the impersonal throngs of Manhattan. They turned and made their way towards the Canal Street subway station. He picked a path through the jostling crowd. Like a, it's like a book here. His arm weighed upon her shoulders, felt constrictive around her neck. You're burdening me with your ridiculous need, she said. Or she said, you're going to the wrong way and you're pulling me with you. And another time, another place, she said, stop yanking on my arm, you're hurting me. What do those books say? I think we're supposed to make them all be open. How? I think I've messed it up already. Oh. Can I reverse time? Oh, I can. He worked his ruler and compass. He inferred. He deducted. He scrutinized the fall of an apple, the twisting of metal orbs hanging from a thread. He was searching for the princess. He would not stop until he found her, for he was hungry. 
He cut rats into pieces to examine their brains and planted tungsten posts into the skulls of water-starved monkeys. What? <laughs> Anything? What if it's like... scrutinize the fall of an apple, twisting a metal orb hanging from a thread. Through his clues, he would find the princess, see her face. After an especially fervent eye of tinkering, he kneeled behind a bunker in the desert. He held a piece of Walter's glass up to his eyes and waited. On that moment hung eternity. Time stood still, space contracted to a pinpoint. It was as though the earth had opened and the sky split. One felt as though he had been privileged to witness the birth of the world. That's a that's a World War Two quote about the atomic bomb. Wait, what's this? Oh wait. I thought I could. I thought there was a way I could get up on top of it. Can I? I don't know. Oh. Did you figure it out? I think if you turn it and then let it go up all the way mm -hmm. and then press it to come down mm -hmm. and then get on it mm -hmm. and then reverse time look at that what's the point I don't know, <laughs> I don't know. is there a reason why we would want to go up there Whoa, continuing on. Uh, he cannot say he has understood all of this. Possibly he's more confused now than ever. All these moments he's contemplated, something has occurred. This moment feels substantial in his mind, like stones, kneeling, reaching down toward the closest one, running his hand across it. He finds it smooth and slightly cold. He tests the stone's weight. He finds he can lift it, and others, too. He can fit them together to create a foundation, an embankment, a castle. To build a castle of appropriate size, he will need a great many stones, but what he's got now feels like an acceptable start. The end. That's the end? That is. Wow. That's wow. some metaphysical, psychological, whatever, mind scramble. Yeah, so there's nothing else that we're supposed to do? That... No, I think there's some, some rewards for doing it really, really fast. Mm. But... Goodness, how would you do it fast? It's so hard to do it at all. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not even the one playing. <laughs> yeah, I actually read a little bit about the ending of Braid and... It's interesting. I think a lot of the community that's played this game believes that this is actually about man's quest for and discovery of the atomic bomb. Interesting. Oh, the quote that you'd mentioned. So the princess is essentially the atomic bomb and you're chasing after her and how essentially creating it causes your life to... There's not going to be um, finding the princess, it says, would be finding like an intense light that would light the whole world up, but nobody else would ever know safety ever again, forever. That's mm -hmm. what it said. It said that you're in Manhattan, which was kind of an allusion, uh, an allusion to the Manhattan Project. That quote there about hunkering down at a bunker in the desert. And then there was a quote there about seeing a brilliant flash. And essentially it was like watching the birth of a world. I don't know who it was. I don't know if it was Oppenheimer or somebody else that was a part of that project, but they were one of the first people that saw the test in, um, was it New Mexico? I forget where we tested the first atomic bomb, but it was like they watched it and that was their description of what they saw. 
end. So it was essentially Tim here, the protagonist slash, I guess, antagonist, his quest for the knowledge of how to build it. And then it was like one of those things that's like Pandora's box. Once you open it, it can never be unopened. Mm -hmm. Now we know how to do it. So that's what this whole thing was about. It's choice and consequence. And if you could go back and undo it, would you? And just living with the fact that you've done this thing and it's forever changed the world. Yeah. The thing that was interesting about the princess was we were running through that level from the fiery explosion, right? Oh, right. And we were running away from a fiery something chasing us, like a wall of fire. And she looked like she was helping us. But really, it was running to that. And then she was saved. She was actually running away from you. She didn't want to be captured. She didn't want the knowledge of what she had to be given to the world. So, Very interesting. It's pretty deep. I think yeah. that's a pretty, like deep meaning game it's yeah just, i wasn't you, expecting it <laughs> i yeah i mean it's a complete surprise you don't think that this game is extremely beautiful it's got mario uh like a little uh, homage yeah, homage it pays to mario with the venus fly traps and yeah. but then it comes out the end with this really deep metaphysical philosophical kind of contemplation of time and man's role and the universe and the atomic bomb and all it's crazy right yeah so wow more than what it seems yeah right. <laughs> but uh it was a great game i loved it i thought it was a lot of fun um overall <laughs> there was a few times i got really 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 frustrated had some moments there had some moments i had to uh between videos i had to do some breathing and meditation so i would calm down <laughs> But uh, we certainly enjoyed playing it, and we hope you enjoyed watching it. And we would just like to encourage you to hit that subscribe button and follow along Rybash Games. Leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you about what you thought about Braid, if you came to a similar conclusion, or what you thought of the game in general. And we will be sure to see you in the next video. Thanks so much, guys. Have a great day. Bye.